Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're really glad that you're here. We know that there are so many women out there right now who are busy. Uh, you know, we, we really cling to this busyness as if it's uh, meant to be part of our entrepreneur journey. And Megan and I are here today to talk specifically about how not to be so busy and how to still create time and money because we all know if you're if you're a female entrepreneur even if you're a male entrepreneur you you know that you normally have one of the two things you either have time and no money or you've got money but no time that's yeah. speaking to the millionaires out there they've created a business that you know they may have even left the corporate world and now they've created a seven figure business but they've got no time because it revolves around them it depends on them um it's probably one of the hardest things to do is replace yourself in your company because it's your baby and you're growing it and you care so much about it. Um, so today we want to specifically give you six powerful tips to create more time and more money. So yes. Megan, I, I want to ask you, because you're an experienced businesswoman, you've been in business for over two decades. Um, you have a lot of experience in going in the ebbs and flows of having time and then you've got money, then money, then yeah. time, you know, going back and forth. So um, maybe, maybe share with us a time in your, in your business journey where you did find you were struggling with one or the other. And um, what did you do about it that, that you'd really like to share with um, all of the, the women listening today? Yes, I would love to share on that. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, always fun to be here with you and and be able to get to share and be of service together. So uh, um, very excited about our chat today. So yeah, I mean, one of the things that's coming up uh, for me strongly around that topic of, you know, when I felt like I was struggling is, you know, when we are, uh, you know, wanting to be successful in our business, we're willing to do anything, right? And so I found myself in a trap of, you know, doing all the things I felt like I needed to do to be successful. What I mean by that is, you know, uh, we see all of those marketing gurus out there sharing, you know, if you just do this one marketing technique, you're going to be super successful in your business. I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. If they, um, you know, made it work, I could do the same thing and, and have the same results. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you invest your time and money and things like that, you know, a couple thousand dollars here, a couple thousand dollars there, you put in the effort, you implement what they teach you and like, wait a minute, why am I not getting the same results? Yeah. So then you go on to the next thing. And so I found myself, you know, busy implementing all these different strategies that were not necessarily my own, were other people's. And I was not getting the same results. So it was felt like a constant struggle. Mm. And I finally realized that, okay, maybe those uh, strategies were not in alignment with uh, who I was and my natural way of doing things. So I took a moment to really uh, reflect on, you know, what were my gifts? You know, what um, makes me unique and, and different? What is my unique value that I could share? And what am I most passionate about? What, what fulfills me and what gives me joy? And how can I use that in my business? So when I got clear on what that looked like um, and really kind of then aligned everything else in my business to support that, uh, you know, marketing strategies and whatnot, action steps, everything shifted. So I was focusing on what I wanted versus on what I felt like I needed to do in my business. And whoa, that changed everything. And so I was able to tap into the flow, ease and grace in business and actually enjoy my business and have fun. So for me, that was the big aha and a big pivot in my own business. And, and that really, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to do because, um, it, it requires trusting yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us struggle with that aspect. Yeah. So what about you, Rebecca? I'm curious to hear, you know, where you felt like uh, in your life that you were busy, you know, attempting to be productive and successful in your business, but probably not getting the results that you wanted. 
Yeah. Yeah, honestly, what you just said about um, the ease and flow, I think this is such a cliche term right now. It's almost like the fad thing to say, oh, be an ease and flow. Whereas I think years ago, it was like hustle, hustle, I have a side hustle. So we go through these shifts yeah. in business and we even see the trends online, like, oh, seven figure earner, this or that. And, and it, you get so caught up in this world, you know, especially if you're, if your Facebook um, algorithms are working correctly and then all of it comes at you at once. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of people going, how do I get into the ease? How do I, how do I get into this flow everyone's talking about? Yeah. You know, and that becomes the the frustration as well, because they are doing what you were talking about, which is like going from one thing to the next, trying an Instagram strategy or revising their LinkedIn or, you know, putting together a new offer, whatever it is, and then still, still um, feeling the struggle. Yeah. And then you said, and I love this because I don't think you even know you said it, but you said, but then I just started having fun. <laughs> and that's like one of my core values. You're right. That's right. True. And that's one of my, like, you know, it sounds so simple, but it's one of my top tips um, for yeah. creating more time and money. Just start having more fun and let go of the control, let go of the busyness. Um, stop, pause. You know, don't even put any intention or expectation on the pause. You know, you don't have to fill it with meditation and every other yoga practices and learning a new language or whatever it is. Yeah. We, like high, high achieving entrepreneurs do just really pause and, and be in your own, um, be in your own energy, get comfortable with the uncomfortableness that that might feel like sure because it's in that space that I believe we create and we manifest and draw into ourselves that flow ease and grace but it's there only I think that it's only honored when we actually honor the, the the space ourselves that um it's almost like if you shut up you can hear other things yeah so well you, then you could be present in the mo moment right exactly. and that's when when the magic happens, right. When you, I mean, when you get your best ideas or, yes. you know, you can attract um, what it is you want in your life. Yeah. yeah. And so you can see the opportunities, but when we go, 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 and we're on the hamster wheel, whether it's corporate or whether we've created it ourselves in our own business and it's going, going, going constantly busy. Yeah. It, we, it's not just the outside world that we have chitter chatting to us. It's our own mind chitter chatting. So we have to stop yeah. the, the talk there as well. And you know me, I'm a huge traveler. And when I go on a trip and I'm more in nature and I'm more surrounded by the authenticity of the universe, I see opportunity that I wouldn't have seen if I were in the crazy yes. we've all been. There's that, Rebecca. And I don't know if you can relate to this, but you know, when you do take some time for yourself and let's say go on vacation and you're stepping away from your business. So you're actually kind of letting go of control a little bit, stepping away from your business. I don't know about you, but more often than not, that's when I get the big deals that come in, you know, when I'm laying on the beach somewhere, relaxing, oh, okay, this deal that I've been working out forever just finally closed or, you know, it's like, wow, it's like you could just start um, taking advantage of, of those neat opportunities that show up when you are willing to uh, step out of the chaos, be present in the moment and, and just let things flow um, the way that they're supposed to. So yeah. it, it's yeah. pretty cool when that happens. Very cool. Now yeah. I know Megan, um, because some of the audience today, their entrepreneurs are really looking for these, these tips. So I know yeah. that you have some really great, like solid tips that they could hang on to and really apply yeah. to their, their business today. So I'd love to just dive into those three, um, those, those three things that you really believe in that you've done yourself that you've experimented with. Um, yes. so that people can walk away today with some actual tangible, like if you, you know, I know we're talking about, you know, hearing about all these tips from other people, but, yeah. um, genuinely we believe these, these six things are imperative to having more time and having more money at the same time. <laughs> so dive in. Yeah, no. And that would be great. hundred percent. So, so 
you know, I've learned so much on my entrepreneurial journey and I'm, I'm constantly kind of like reassessing how can I not only, you know, um, be of service um, in the best possible way for my clients, but how can I make the biggest impact? Yeah. And then also how can I have time, you know, to enjoy my life and uh, really just, you know, um, be able to um, do all other things that I enjoy doing. And so I'm, I'm constantly kind of uh, shifting and revamping my business to be able to achieve those goals. So, you know, I've had my coaching consulting companies, Silverlining Concepts, for uh, about 15 years now. And, you know, I've, I've really kind of um, just constantly am evolving and, and uh, you know, just implementing new things into my business to get to those goals. So, what I have found in actually in that moment of, you know, um, pivoting when I shared, you know, with my struggle, I said, I, I took some time, you know, to, to get clear. So my first tip would be to identify your unique value, your uh, zone of brilliance. Some people call it zone of genius. I call it your zone of brilliance. Like, what are you the expert in? And this can be a challenge because a lot of times we want to be everything to everyone. Yeah. But I'm going to ask for you to really get clear on like, what are you the expert in? What can you be the go-to person for in your industry? And really, um, you know, get clear on that. So I believe our unique value comes from a number of different things. It comes from our God-given gifts and talents. It comes from our education, our experiences, all of our experience in our life, good or bad, there yeah. are lessons that we learn with us. So very, very valuable. Also comes from our characteristics as a person and our values as a person. So all those things come together to make up your unique value. And when you use that in your business, that also will help you to be unique because nobody else is like you. So, so thinking, considering all of those things, you know, in the work that you've currently done or have done in the past with your clients, how can you make the biggest impact mm -hmm. and taking a look at that? And I've identified it for myself as, you know, I call myself the earn your worth expert to the experts because I have um, really been able to um, kind of streamline and simplify my business and focus on the one thing that I feel I can make the biggest impact with, with my clients, which is helping them to um, offer more of a high-end transformational program yeah. um, or package for their clients. So, um, you know, so I have a package called um, my Packaging Your Expertise Mastery Course. So that is my signature program. And that is what I'm an expert in. Can I do other things? Absolutely. But this is where I feel like I can make the biggest impact. So that's the, the first uh, tip. So I'm going to challenge you to think like, what can you be the go-to expert in and be known for that thing? Uh, because then that's going to allow you to stand out uh, in a really crowded marketplace because everybody on the planet these days are <laughs> business coaches or, you know, yeah, you know, transformational coach, whatever. Yeah. So you're going to get lost in the shuffle with that. So what makes you unique. Identify your unique values. My first tip. Second one is uh, be willing to narrow your niche. So when you identify your unique value, that means then also you're going to have to also uh, narrow your niche because, you know, who do you want to work with? Who is your dream client? You know, that um, they're struggling with the problem that, that your uh, offering can solve. So, you know, who is it that you truly want to work with? Because you can't help everybody. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, really getting clear on who your ideal client is and who you truly want to work with. Who's your dream client? So being willing to narrow your niche. And that could be really scary. Um, I remember it's like, wait a minute, I want to help everybody, right? But at the end of the day, um, you know, you really got to get clear on who you truly want to work with. And back to the matter, like who can pay for your services, right? It's often more profitable once you narrow yeah. it down. Like if you look at all the oh, most for sure. successful businesses, if we go as simple as a Mexican taco stand that sells three kinds of tacos, yes. more popular and they have more likes on TripAdvisor 
than, you know, a restaurant down the street that serves every kind of Mexican food. I guarantee it. Yeah. So such like, a good point. Yeah. Because you can do those three tacos the best, the best, you know, uh, better than anybody else. Right. Right. And you're, you're focused. So thank you for sharing that. Um, so that goes back to, you know, like, what is the one thing that you're good at? So the third tip I have to share is to um, think of how you can package your expertise into one high end transformational offer. So a program that um, will offer like a full solution for your ideal client. Yeah. And this allows you to work with your dream clients to make the biggest impact possible. And then also to get paid generously for, um, you know, your work. So it allows you when you're willing to own your value, then you can start earning your worth. So I'm talking offering packages like 2000. 5,000, 10,000. I even have a client that her average package is 30,000. So you can imagine when you're um, able to generate this type of income that you can work less and make more. Yes. Um, and you're working with your dream clients, the ones that really get it, that are so fun to work with, the ones that are committed and putting the time in to get the results. Mm -hmm. And so again, I'm all about like, how can I leverage my time so I can free up time to do some of the other things that I love, which is a big one is volunteering and giving back. So I have, you know, really uh, restructured and redesigned my business to really, you know, to implement these three things. And it, it's amazing um, when you're able to really streamline and get clear um, that you really can work less and make more money. So it's it's been transformational in my business and I love to get to help other people uh, do the same in their business. Yeah, that's brilliant. And of course, it all comes down to that making more time and money for yourself. And yeah. statistically, they say that you're going to spend as much time selling an offer, you know, whether it's a $500 offer or a $5,000 offer, you actually do spend just as much time selling oh, it sure. um, yep. to the clients. So you might as well find the clients, um, but also give the value because there's a lot of a lot of stuff out there right now that I feel like, and I'm, I'm sure other people are going to relate to this that are just not giving the value or just not giving the transformation that's promised. So I think it's yes. really, really important when you're going through those Absolutely. business steps, um, hopefully with a business coach and somebody that, that can help guide you yeah. um, to make sure that the transformation is actually going to be there for people, um, yeah. to attract clients that are ready for the transformation. That is often the key. You know, yeah, exactly. I mean, so it has to be based on results, right? And something that your clients can implement. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they they obviously have to be ready. Um, because everybody wants a better life, everyone wants a successful business, everyone wants to be thinner, you know, but are they willing to put in the the time and effort right. and invest the money that it takes to do that? So so that's that's the key. So that's why, you know you really want to narrow that niche and be crystal clear on who are those people that are willing um, and ready to, to commit. So yeah. what about you, Rebecca? What, what would you say your um, three tips to creating more time and money would be um, in your business and, and uh, for others as well? Yeah. I mean, you know, after everything you've said, I think it's really important for everyone just to be um, this. This wasn't part of my three tips, but I think what's coming up for me right now is patience. Yeah. You know, if you're listening mm. to this right now on the replay and you're getting frustrated with yourself or you don't know what the next right step is, as um, Elsa in um, Frozen says, <laughs> just take the next, <laughs> right, the next step. It doesn't mean yes. you know, we don't have to attach a right or wrong to it. Just take the next step. You know, I think it's really important. And what I've learned is patience um, because it. I get impatient with myself. Like, why am I not creating this? Why am I not? Why don't I have more clients? Why don't like I'm amazing. So how come it's not happening? And really believing and trusting divine timing has been mm. a learning curve for me. Uh, so that's just a little bonus tip there for you. If you find you're being not patient with yourself, please take a step back and allow just allow. I'll leave it there. That has been one of my words this year is allow Beautiful. things to happen. 
Um, so yeah, my tips are like the, the one I tap, I I talked about earlier is just have fun and not taking yourself so seriously that will help you to be patient. Um, and when you are implementing fun things into your life, it means you put the phone down and you go play Frisbee with your kids and you just don't think about business for a minute, or you invest in, um, something we're going to be talking a little bit later about, or in a few minutes, um, you invest in something that's just pure joy for you. Uh, you know, maybe a bucket list item, uh, something you've always wanted to do, but, you're not sure how you were going to do it. Um, you know, just keep your eyes open for those opportunities. And if you, you really are genuinely playing in life, like play more with it, it will play with you back. It will give you the things you need to have, to have the things you want in life. And I, what's coming up for me when you say that Rebecca is like, You know, when you are enjoying what you're doing and you're playing, incorporating play into your work, you're going to be incredibly attractive to other people. Like, oh my gosh, I want what she has, or I want to hang out with her. Hence, you know, getting more clients just, you know, by having fun and, and, you know, being yourself. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I was actually talking to another friend about that the other day. And it's like, if you are just trying to get more clients, you're really in lack and you're bringing that energy into your all your conversations and you oh, can't sure. take it because a lot of us women out there we're really awake and we will sense the energy of lack and like oh my god i just need a client i need that like thousand dollars right now to pay my bills or whatever that yeah smart women who are attuned and aligned with their intuition will sense that and you will For sure them away. yeah and you can say all the right things right and just yeah. be um confident and say all the right things but energetically they yeah. are going to sense that and they're not going to know why they won't, don't want to jump on board with you but they won't uh, because exactly. of that sense or feeling yeah so true 100 percent. love that um the second thing is something uh, i learned from oprah <laughs> and she said surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher And sometimes Mm -hmm. that's the hardest part because when I was going through my business journey and growing and making investments that, you know, my family would never understand, I had to kind of hide those things. And I wasn't, Mm -hmm. um, you know, forthcoming with my father with how I was investing my money into my business because I didn't think he would be the person to lift me higher. And I, I just gained wisdom knowing who I could share what with and who was going to really just accelerate my journey and really help me along. And, and then I also really narrowed down, um, the number of people I cared what they thought. And it went down to like five people. And Mm -hmm. if I ever had a question about what I was doing and I wasn't sure I'd go to one of those five people for, um, advice or guidance. And if it wasn't one of those five people, which is most of the people on Facebook, I just didn't hear what they said. And I had to really go, I don't care done, yeah. you know, and really, so, so I really surrounded myself um, with people who are going to lift me higher and that's people I know and people I don't know. So reading audio, uh, listening to audiobooks, I listen to a ton of audiobooks, um, reading books, um, podcasts of people who were living the kind of life that I wanted to live. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, mm-hmm. just surrounding myself with that really successful energy, people that had time, that had money, that had the thing, yeah. freedom, you know, and then I was just enveloped into that energy. And I really was very protective of um, the conversations I had with people outside of that circle. Um, So that's the number two. uh, And the third one I would say is commitment. Um, Mm -hmm. When you commit to something, you have to take action on that. And for me, it was, I committed to my business in big ways, making huge financial investments into the business, but not just doing that and stopping. It was, okay, now what's the next step? What's the next action thing? Maybe it is a social media strategy. Maybe it is, um, you know, putting boundaries around myself and my thoughts so that those people can't bring me down. Whatever I committed to, I took consistent action towards, even when I doubted myself that was the important part. It was like, even when I was like, yeah. holy shit, was that the right thing to do? Oh my God. Or, <laughs> oh my goodness. I just failed epically at that. You know, uh, ugh, that doesn't feel good, but yeah. really still committing to it and going, okay, well I failed. What next? And keep and yeah. keep going. And in that commitment is all is wrapped up accountability. 
is wrapped up in there. So I did it with, Mm -hmm. with coaches and I tell you, it will accelerate your journey. Like whatever you think you can accomplish, you'll, it'll take you three years. It'll take you one year with, with a coach and accountability, um, on your side. So those are my, Mm -hmm. those are my three things. And, um, yeah, I love that. I think those are like three plus two. It's kind of like uh, or no, three plus two, six plus two is like eight or nine tips in there. So we hope lots of tips. Yeah. We really hope that that is helpful as just a, you know, a give to you guys. And and we really want to bless you with those tips because Megan and I are both, um, if you don't know us, we're, we're humanitarians. We love people. We want to help um, other business owners. And um, we'd also love to spend some time with you because we both believe that you can only go so far behind zoom and that really the transformation that the transformation quote unquote, we know you've heard this term, but the real change in your life comes when you're immersed yes. with the right people and in the right scenario with the right experience. So we, um, we are going to Uganda, not gonna like, I'm not going to like pretend I'm selling something because we're not, we are going to Uganda and it is going to be the most epic trip um, ever. And if you feel like called, I know I've mentioned this to people and they're like, that's so weird. I've been wanting to go to Africa like my whole life. Um, So if that's you, or there's this little thing going, I think I need to do something like that. I, I think I need to put my seven figure business, you know, aside just for, 10 days, 13 days and do something that's going to make an impact and stop talking about impact and actually do it. So that's, that's our invitation to you. I think we've got five spots left. Um, We're going to go into see the gorillas. You know, we designed this so that you could have some luxury, but we also designed it so that you'd have to get your hands dirty. Um, I'm a backpacker. I backpacked for 15 years all over the world and so I've done the hostels and the really like cheap places and I'm at a time in my life I kind of like luxury too so we're combining all of this for you to have a really really unique incredible experience with um, the local people we want you to meet the local people in the rural parts of Africa we want you to meet the gorillas and the chimpanzees and maybe we'll see lions on the safari we want to also take you on a, a, a private um, j- a jet jet is it a it's a chartered private. flight <laughs> it's a chartered oh, flight. A jet. <laughs> you don't need to be fancy you know not too fancy a private jet. Um, um but yeah we're gonna take you across the African deserts and it's just so beautiful you're gonna spend um the last couple nights um on the Nile um we want to spoil you before you go home we also want to provide you with a really rich company um, you know, who, who you're in the room with, uh, really, really matters. You know, you either want to leave the room or you want to stay. And this is going to be a place that you're going to feel safe and you're going to gain knowledge in your, in business, in life from these other women that it's really, you can't put a price on it. So, um, yeah, we just want to invite you to come along. We believe full, like wholeheartedly that the right people will be on this trip, Um, And we're really excited because it's been on hold for two years. And uh, the people in in Uganda, the ones that I know, are so excited to welcome us. You are going to be enveloped with love. Yes. Lovely. So, all right. So this this, uh, retreat, like Rebecca said, we've been planning it for a couple of years. We really feel that this is such a great opportunity for you to hit hit reset, for you to focus on yourself, for you to stop being busy and to take this time to hang out with other powerful women leaders. The retreat is called the Empowered Leader Experience. So it's 10 days in beautiful Uganda, uh, February 23rd through March 4th. And yes, like as Rebecca said, it's such a great blend of really kind of immersing in the culture, getting to 
be with these other powerful women leaders and mastermind with each other, learn best practices from each other. We're also going to have an opportunity to hang out with and strategize and mastermind with Ugandan business um, women yeah, and uh, learn from each other and get to share some of our skill sets, some of our unique value uh, with them. And then, um, you know, be part of a um, African uh, community for a few days and immerse in that, their culture and really get to experience that. Um, and then safari and chimp trekking and spa services, like Rebecca said. So it's going to be epic. It's going to be life changing. So if you are feeling, you know, called if this is exciting to you and like Rebecca said a lot of people like you know what I've always wanted to go to Uganda and even if you have never thought about that you know have you ever wanted to be able to have an extraordinary experience um you know abroad with other like-minded powerful women uh because you know let's be honest being an entrepreneur is lonely mm -hmm. and you know if you're a CEO of your company even if you have you know amazing team they're not necessarily, you know, struggling with the same things you're struggling with as a business owner. So yeah. here you get to interact with other, Leader. you know, women leaders and business owners that get it and, yeah. and are where you are, you know, in your journey. And, and it's just so powerful to be able to do that. And, and just the relationships and, and, you know, uh, collaborations and things that can happen are going to be really awesome. And the last thing I'm going to say about that is uh, our, as you know, Rebecca and I uh, love to give back and volunteer our time. So there's going to be an underlying purpose of uh, this retreat, which is to inspire you to think about how can you connect a social cause to your current business. So as you're growing your business, making more money um, and generating more profits, how can you take some of that and give back well and, and Megan an impact in something you're passionate about yeah and even we know again statistically that when companies align themselves and we're not talking about just in Africa we're, we're talking about aligning yourselves with something that speaks to you you yeah. tend to make more money in your business any huge yes. corporation out there that has a give back that they support uh, uh even a, like community in some way they are often making more money when a percentage of the trip goes towards that and in fact so embedded true. right in your trip ticket is a donation you are um when you purchase a ticket with us you are giving back so a portion of that goes right back to this community that you're going to get to meet so how often is it that you make a donation and you actually get to see who it's impacting? Um, that's something really special that I like to do when I go over there is um, have a project and the people that are joining, we're going to have um, chats before we go. We're going to collaborate on ideas on where we want to give back, but also we're not going to do it in the white way, which I'm sorry to say it is the white privileged way is to think we know what they need. I have connections there and I'm going to be talking with the community and asking them, what do you need? Because the needs are great right now. Um, they're, they've always been great, but it's going to be like, how can we, um, how can we help? And then we will, we will come together on, well, what makes sense? What do we want to do? Um, and Megan, I just want to touch on one thing before sure. we go, because I know that this, it's like the ego that always pops up in everyone's mind. And I know it's going on, whether you're in a seven figure business or a five figure business right now, you're either going, I don't have time or I don't have money. Cause that's <laughs> probably what's coming up for you. Oh my God. How much? Yeah, hence, hence the reason for this discussion today. <laughs> yeah. How much does it cost? Yeah. And then it's yeah. like freaking out already. Oh, I don't have that money. And then you like cut it off right away. Um, so my challenge to you, cause I've been there, I've owed like 10 grand on a down payment for a house before and had six weeks to make that. And I've done it. So I've been there. I know how it feels. I know how uncomfortable that gets. And I know there's a solution. So there is a solution to the money question. Ah, how am I going to afford that? And there's also yeah. a, a solution to the time question. Because you may have all the money in the world, but you're like, well, I don't have the time or I have kids sure. or my husband, this or that, or la, 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 la. all the chitter chatter again. So I challenge you to dig deep. And if this is the thing calling you, figure it out. Because if you need to be there, yeah. you don't want to miss this opportunity. 
um, because of no time or or you can't find you can't find the time or you don't have the money. So that's the big yeah. challenge now as, as an entrepreneur, create more time. Use the tips we've given you today, create more money so that you can have fun and do the things that you need to do that are going to project your life and your business in a direction much bigger than you can even imagine. Yes. So, so true. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, like, why are we in business? You know, Mm -hmm. you know, most of us started our own business because we wanted more time and more freedom and more money. So, you know, think about that. Like if you're just on that hamster wheel and then the rat race and, and living in your chaotic, busy life, you're not enjoying life. And right. that's what this opportunity is all about. It's like, yeah. you deserve this. You've worked hard in your business. Now you get to play, play hard <laughs> and to yeah. be able to really, um, you know, take some time for yourself and, and do something extraordinary and life-changing, something you'll never forget. Uh, and so we're going to encourage you to join us on this extraordinary trip. Um, you could go to empoweredleaderexperience.com to learn more. We have our full agenda on there. We're very transparent of exactly what you would be getting with the investment in this trip. And um, also, you know, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Yeah. You can reach out to me at support at megantall.com and happy to, you know, jump on a call. Uh, if you want to talk to both of us, you can arrange that as well. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca, what is uh, your best contact um, email uh, where people can reach out if they have any questions for you? Yeah, if you see the spelling of my name at the bottom there, it's just info at RebeccaBinnendike.com. You can also find me on the on on the great Google. Um, if you Google my name, you'll find my website and you can book a call through there. I mean, I'm easy to find Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, yeah. You want it, you'll find it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So thank you all so much for tuning in. If you've made it to the yes. end of this video, we're so glad and we hope that some of the tips help you. And um, yeah, we'd love to see you on the trip. So Megan, this is going to be yes. exciting. I'm so, um, I'm so stoked to go in February. It's, oh my gosh, awesome. I know I cannot wait. It's been such a long time coming Yeah, and, yeah. you know, just something that we put so much of our, our hearts into and, and, um, we're so passionate about being able to, uh, offer this extraordinary experience to other women that are like us that, you know, are making a difference in the world are making an impact, but now we can come together and share in each other's lives and, and really be able to create this extraordinary experience together. So hope if you're feeling it on your heart that you will listen and that you will um, really, like Rebecca said, um, you know, commit to actually making this happen. Yeah. And trust yeah. me, if, if you're feeling it on your heart, you have everything you need to make this happen. Sure. It's just like Rebecca said, just take that first step to make it happen and trust that this is a, the best decision for you and you'll start attracting everything you need to make this happen. And so we're so excited uh, to be able to have this uh, opportunity to, to go on this trip with you and we're here for you if you have any questions and thank you so much for spending the time with us today and uh, learning our six powerful tips to creating more time and money in your life and business. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great afternoon. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.